not only we help to develop the digital products, but we also help companies with their product management, uh, compliance, uh, product development, UX, uh, certification. We also do the business consulting and we even provide the bridge investment and guidance to the health tech startups to bring them to the next level. There are sort of, you know, many different things are in the mix. And naturally, naturally, we hold quite many conversations with uh, founders and uh, and product owners in this area. And uh, when we talk uh, to them, you know, many of them are actually concerned where the market is heading to, uh, how my product is going to fit uh, into the market that is going to be there uh, in the year, how those changes are going to affect me, what are going to be the, you know, the main changes that I should, uh, uh, should expect. And uh, even though, even though we are kind of, we are knowledgeable about the market, we, we know what's happening there, but we are not the single source of truth, obviously. And I have always been seeking to, um, you know, to make some networking, to collect some other uh, opinions, to, to hear additional thoughts from, uh, from other people and, uh, and share it, of course, with our community of the companies that we are working with. And um, so with uh, with marketing team, actually, we once time uh, sat down and thought um, about how can we gather, how is possible to gather all of those opinions, how to create some sort of this knowledge sharing platform so that we can feed all this information and um, uh, all of this good stuff opinions uh, from the market influencers, from the professionals, to, to our community that we are supporting, that uh, uh, that we're talking to. And that's how this idea of this of the summit was born. So the global digital health market size has actually exceeded $142 billion in year uh, 2020. And uh, it is actually estimated to grow at over 17.4% year over year between years 2021 and 2027. Having said that, the 2027 value projection, again, for the global digital health market is actually uh, $427 billion, according to some of the sources. According to the others that are a bit more optimistic, uh, I'm seeing the numbers that analysts are putting um, the value of uh, over $600 billion by the year 2027. And I'll look into the next year on the top challenges that health tech market is going to face. And uh, again, it's not uh, based on any, uh, any objective source uh, of the information, any surveys or uh, anything. It's, uh, I'm, uh, I'm delivering it as my, uh, as my personal opinion, uh, put it this way. So um, what we're gonna observe uh, the challenges that health tech innovators are going to face during the, uh, during the next year. I think number one is uh, the regulatory risks and, uh, and limitations. So this is something that has been there and this problem that has been there for some time and it will continue to be there. It's not a transitory uh, issues. It's a issue. It's a permanent issue that is uh, with us to stay. And this fight between the innovators and uh, conservative, inert, inefficient US healthcare system it uh, it will continue so we all know about it and it's it's not going anywhere it's actually all of this is um, is fueled by this never ending debate and uh, um and conversations so still this questions uh, question is 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 uh, it's kind of uh, bothering lots of minds uh, but the healthcare whether it's a business or it's a social responsibility so and those because if it's a business, there are one goals, and if it's a social responsibility, it's, uh, it has totally different goals. The second problem I think that we are going to observe and see, and uh, big, uh, the challenge, I would say, not a problem, but it's a challenge for the, for the health tech uh, players, is the market saturation. Uh, it's, been, it's been there for some time as the healthcare industry, health tech industry is actually growing, and um, market saturation actually will bring challenges both to the newcomers and to the existing market players. It is easier than ever to start a company and receive funding. Um, the, the timing is actually great. Uh, the opportunities, possibilities are, are, uh, are there. 
and um, and many new entrants are there into this market and not just uh, not just entrants with uh, you know just one founder with uh, with no backing um, but there are more uh, and a lot of different players uh, from the other industries are trying to uh, to enter this health tech market and what I definitely know is that many health tech players will fa uh, will face increasingly fierce competition uh, in this market during the next uh, year. Now, the third, I think, big uh, big trend and big, uh, not the trend, uh, but big challenge that is going to be there uh, and will continue, uh, will uh, already posing and will continue posing a threat to all of the uh, product development is the labor shortage. We saw it happening in many industries um, <clears throat> all across the globe, actually. And it is also affecting significantly uh, the health tech market. And uh, it's, uh, it's affecting the product development um, in health tech, the sales, marketing, support activities, pretty much uh, everything. This increasing VC funding in all industries, it created uh, a stunning demand for the, uh, for the tech professionals um, globally, everywhere. We're not only talking about the US, we're also talking about the um uh, about the old traditional outsourcing locations uh, uh in europe as well everywhere and uh, i think this labor shortage especially uh, professional uh, and the professional area is here with us to stay for some time and uh it's not slowing down and as long as um, until we will see uh vcs pouring additional money into uh into the tech markets we will see this problem uh, persisting for some time. Uh, and uh, so health tech feels it a lot and feels it in absolutely the same uh, in the same way as other tech industries. And um, it will um, health tech founders and startups and um, other businesses in health tech will have to fight uh, to get their best people into their teams. Uh, and all we, know, uh, we all know that um, without a good team, you cannot make uh, a good product so that's going to be one of the center challenges and actually i uh i know about this problem like uh, probably like anyone else because uh, uh, what we do we do the software development for the and, uh, and many other um and many other services around uh, around startups and uh, mid-size enterprise businesses so we work with people we know how difficult it became to to find good talent